Okay, guys, today I'm doing an unboxing of House of the Dead Overkill Extended Version or Extended Cut and uh, for the PlayStation 3, PlayStation Move compatible. That's the reason I bought it because I got a new uh, PS Move. Oh, I love shoot on rail shooters, you know, arcade time prices. Uh, this one here, if you look at it, it's like a grindhouse fest, basically. It's uh, longer, harder, and gorier. That's what it says right there. Okay. And made by Sega, of course. And here, that's the front. Here's the side panel. And here's the back. Okay, more blood, more gore, more strippers. Well, you know, it's your grindhouse fest, right? So, so right here, hopefully you can see this. One to four players. And 128 kilobytes for hard drive space, 720p, DualShock 3, and it can play it in 3D as well. Okay, 3D capable. And rated M, okay, for uh, partial nudity, sexual themes, blood and gore. All right. So I'm just going to do a... Uh, just give me one minute here. Okay, so I got the shrink wrap off here. Let's get that. And here's the game. Here's the cover art. This is the, I believe, what we call a manual. I don't even know if they make that. Oh, there is some pictures. Uh, nope, all wrong. It's just a couple of uh, black and white. Oh, so uh, I have to place it in sharpshooter, so it does fit, uh, does work for this, which is great. Okay, I'm gonna do a review with the sharpshooter and all that stuff. So. Uh, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, if you want to stay updated. I'll be doing a full review of this game, okay, with the PS Move, okay. Uh, any questions, comments, post them below.